Hello guys, what is up? Mr. Spockman here and it's good to have you guys back for another video and today we're gonna be checking out the brand new event Creepy Party. Actually not new, but it has been renewed. So yeah, we're gonna be checking out what's new and actually why am I saying checking it out? Because I've already done it. I mean you guys obviously I'm recording this and you guys are watching, hopefully. Well anyway, we're gonna see what's the new stuff and probably gonna fight some of them because actually they're pretty easy I'm not gonna lie some of them are very easy but I will say that this boss is kinda dope because it has a bonus set which means that it can literally destroy you in one shot if it gets the opportunity so yeah you better watch out for this one but anyway let's go straight it is a new stuff I guess usually when a new event is announced I actually check out the new bonus packs because you know there's different stuff for each event well i'm actually very surprised for this one you get aspects and i don't know how we call the skins thing but you get those and i'm very excited for it i don't know if it's actually good to buy the unique thrill i would actually um i would actually suggest buying the unique horror because you get all these different skins and who wouldn't want some of them i mean even i would I, i'm not gonna i'm not gonna lie i do have some of them i do have the orbiter i do have i think it was i don't know i don't know the blue spheres the, the blue sphere yes i think it was a pilgrim sphere and i also have the how do you call this one the greatest gryphon yes i also have the greatest gryphon so yeah, I'm trying to get the rest of the aspects and yeah, that's one of the best thing I've seen so far, not gonna lie. Now obviously for the next thing is the board thingy. Now I might just say that it's actually pretty awesome that you actually get this and it's actually very cheap. You just have to buy, not buy, but you just have to play two regular matches, matches? No, two regular events and you're literally gonna get a free spin. And by the way, I'm gonna just say that my free spin was actually, not free spin, but my first spin was actually 750 gems, which is kind of OP, but I'm not gonna lie, it's still pretty good. So yeah, hopefully you guys are lucky as well, because I feel like there's gonna be an aspect in this board and more stuff, but yeah, hopefully you guys get some too, because I did. So yeah, let's go on to the next one now. Alright now, so we're just gonna skip straight into the battle because the marathon has nothing boring. Has nothing boring, what do I mean? I mean, there's nothing interesting in there, so we're just gonna skip it. And I'm actually gonna skip also the first two opponents, which is I think Vaughn, Ron, something like that, LeBron, James, I don't know. And also Dark Empress or Mistress, I don't know, they're irrelevant, so I don't care. Well, I might just say that this event is very fair. Like, it, it's not hard. I mean, it is hard, but also, it's, as long as you're skilled with your attacks, you're pretty good. You're pretty good to go. You're going to get some good rewards. Because as you can see, I'm literally fighting the event boss, which is the Vampire Lord, by the way, if you haven't noticed. Well, I'm literally using only a sword, and I'm not using any helmet. And by the way, those... Uh, uh, those equipment or actually common equipment that means that i don't even have shadow abilities i don't have no defense on the head because if i get headshotted well i'm pretty much dead so yeah i mean the event itself is pretty easy as long as you know how to deal with certain enemies i mean this boss is actually pretty difficult to do but i did i, I defeated him so you know that's pretty that was pretty cool but yeah now let's go straight into something else which is how you could actually defeat it not defeat it but you can actually do this event way way faster and i actually found a way to make this more enjoyable so yeah let's go straight into this now you guys might be wondering but what set am i talking about well it is the liquidator set now i'm gonna just say that this set is one of the best among the legion bonus sets Mostly because it does extra damage and it reduces the shadow abilities of your opponent, which is an amazing thing because that means that they can't even use their shadow abilities. 
because mostly during events, the bosses does a lot of damage using shadow abilities. So yeah, it saves you these attacks, I guess. And also when the opponents, I think shadow ball we call it, yeah, shadow ball is completely depleted. You do extra damage, and it actually causes shock. And I think it's a stun. I don't know what happens, but they like hit the wall and fall down. I don't know if it's a stun or if it's another kind of ability, but it does the work and it's actually really good. So yeah, that's one of the best ones so far. Now grand mode has changed because instead of grand mode we have a new stage where a brand new branch of enemies is introduced called the honor gods. Now those guys are pretty weak I'm not gonna lie as long as you have a very good bonus set such as the final judgment well you're pretty much gonna win because they're really easy to defeat and also it works as a survival game so that's pretty cool as well but the most exciting thing is that you are introduced to a brand new boss called the king or the champion of the legion. Now this guy looks amazing. Even his death scene is really cool. But I'm gonna just say, if we could actually get this set that he's actually using, this is gonna be awesome. I mean, you know, every every character's have different every boss is actually has different fighting styles but this one it's not really different fighting style but he has different kind of outfits which is really awesome so yeah that's another good thing about this event oh yeah i also forgot to mention that he actually leaves a sword I don't know if this sword has any relevance, but yeah, I don't know. Alright, so I hope you guys enjoyed the video and please stay tuned because I'm going to be posting a bit more because, you know, Halloween is very soon. I think by the time I'm putting this video online, it's going to be four days from Halloween. So yeah. So actually one more thing before I go, it's that I have a new video coming up, which is actually a board the board game opening opening video so yeah i hope you guys will enjoy that so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one goodbye